Hello and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. We are in Muna orbit already with our final version of the uh, Keythane Miner rig. It can hold a total of uh, 16,000 uh, units of Keythane, which is half a freighter filling. So we already have a deposit spotted here. I already punched the numbers in into the landing autopilot and yeah, we are ready to start our descent. Okay, so let's warp to the the orbit point. Uh, we can switch on the lights and prepare for our descent. I added two uh, of these, uh, how is it called, uh, uh, radio isotope thermal elements uh, to the top of our rig so we can at least have light once we are on the dark side of the moon. So yeah, using MacJab of course for the autopilot to, uh, for the landing, landing autopilot to get us into a nice position directly above of the Keythane field. So yeah. some corrections here. The easiest way to do it was with MacJab autopilot is uh, to use the landing autopilot and if you do that it's always a good idea to go into a 100 kilometer orbit first so it doesn't mess things up. You can of course land it uh, by hand but yeah I use the autopilots because, yeah, they actually work pretty well. And as I said in earlier episodes, I know that uh, flying around manually might be fun for some of you. Of course, for me it is fun as well, but yeah, the autopilots make life much, much easier. And to be honest, if this would be a real mission, you would fly it only by hand in an emergency. So, okay, we are safe to warp, so let's do that here. Until we come close enough. For the braking burn. Let's see. Oh yeah, and as you can see here, you can put the sound back on. This is a field where I actually want to land. It has 233,000 liters of keythane, which is a good amount for us, and yeah. So, should be a nice keythane field we got here. Of course, there's one bad thing. We are almost on the night side. But yeah, it should not be a problem at all. We have enough uh, power to run the lights during the night, but not the drills. The drills won't be working at night. Okay, coming in closer, so let's prepare for the landing. Hopefully the terrain is not too messy here. I don't want this thing to fall over. Still have 
more than enough fuel for the landing. Of course, it should be enough to get up into orbit, but yeah, we have a Keythane converter here, so before we start from the surface, we actually fill all our tanks and then go uh, with a full load in all these fuel tanks and of course a full filling of uh, Keythane. Okay, come see, <laughs> suicide burn. And we are stable on the moon. Okay, now it's time to unfold. Oh, I messed something up with the key bindings. Okay, so we have to extend them manually. I have to fix that. the next version. And of course start the mining. Don't know if we have enough power no, we don't have enough power at the moment, because, yeah, sun exposure is not too good. So we will run out of power real quick here. That's a problem. Don't need the, this lights here. And the ladder so that our kerbals can of course get to the surface. Whoops, the ladder is a little bit short. Hmm. I forgot to make it a little longer. Oh that's not so good. But hey we are on the moon. We'll fix that for the next rig. <laughs> can just fly up here so it won't be a big problem. Yeah, and the Keythane is already filling up in all tanks. It's going pretty quick. But of course, uh, it would be much better if we were in full sunlight. So I'll make a quick save here and wait for the sun to come up again. Yeah. Now we are in full sunlight again, and yeah, if you s you can see that now our chart is holding steady. So these uh, surf uh, solar panel surfaces are e enough to power all six drills here, which are working pretty fast to fill up everything we need. So. Actually, let's see. Oh yeah, we can directly activate the liquid fuel converter and we are still gaining. And can we also... Ah no, both, both at the same time won't work. But yeah, we have Enough power. Ah, uh, not not quite enough power. A little bit, but yeah, sun exposure is not one hundred percent. But that's okay. We have plenty, plenty good charge here. We switch off the lights. Let's see if that brings us. Ah, no. Let's keep them switched on. So yeah. This is basically our next, uh, well, let's rename it, uh, Keythane Rig 2 is not the name. That's much better. 
Okay, we have our keysane rig number two landed here. And we are, yeah, equatorial. So uh, when we are finished mining here, we can just uh, start back up to our Muna space station and start filling up our tanker. Now this will be part of the next episode. This was just a very, very short landing and operational uh, demonstration of the mining rig. And yeah, it works. It works pretty well. And it can, of course, run all six miners at once with sufficient electric charge. The charge is depleting right now because uh, I'm at the same time I'm uh, converting ketane into a liquid fuel to fill up the tanks. But we're still gaining ketane here, so it works pretty well. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short episode. And in the next episode we will uh, start with a fully load a fully loaded break and bring it into orbit or try to bring it into orbit to rendezvous with our space station okay thank you for watching my name is Matthias Weiss and yeah see you next time